folks, welcome to Spokane Barbecue Company. My name is Randy Howell. Today we're going to be making pork belly burnt ends. That's going to happen. So, uh, to do that, we're going to go through the whole process. We're going to season these up really good, get them on the grill, bring them back out. Um, and then we're going to add some barbecue sauce to it. We're going to add a little honey, some sugar, get these things nice and sweet, ready to go. And uh, it's going to be delicious. Before we get started, I did want to say... It has come to my attention that I say the word folks a lot. So instead of trying to not say folks all the time, <clears throat> we're just going to turn it into a drinking game. So all of you watching at home, every time I say folks, I'll drink. Let's get started. We'll be right back. Alright, welcome back, everybody. So let's get this pork belly set up for this grill. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I kind of feel like squaring this up a little bit. So I'm just going to cut this up on both ends. Just give it kind of a square a little bit. And don't worry, we're going to eat that. <clears throat> I just wanted to square them up a bit. like that perfect so what we're going to do is cube we're actually going to cube this up about one inch cubes so I'm just going to do kind of a line like this it doesn't have to be exact just close enough for rock and roll will work And then once we go back, we'll get this. We'll just finish cutting them right through. You're going to have a nice big chunk. There we go. And then we're just going to cube these to about the same width. Just like that. So we're going to get this belly all taken care of. Just like that. Well, that's a thick piece down here. Let's put that guy right down the middle here. Just like that. So we're going to go ahead, get this all cut up for you. And then when we come back, we're going to season it and get it on the grill. Stick around, folks. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. So I'm going to use my Killer Hogs barbecue rub, and I'm going to coat these evenly. So I'm going to... Go ahead and put a nice liberal coat on these things and then flip them around and just make sure that we're getting a good liberal coat. Now you can use, of course, whatever rub you want. Um, you know, it's obviously, it's up to you what you like. Some people may not like this. I do. I think it's pretty good. But once I get this top layer on here, then I'm going to flip them around and just get more... Uh, I want to coat them evenly on all sides and just really get that flavor into these things. And that's why we keep them up so we can get that, that flavor on there. Just like that. There we go. And we'll just go ahead and turn everything on its side. So it's going to take a minute. But, um, but once I'm done with this, I'll show it to you. We're going to put them on the grids. Then we're going to get them in the grill. We're going to cook at 275. So you just let me know if you have any questions during the process. Put some uh, comments down below. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Until then, we'll be right back, folks. All right, welcome back. So we got these all cubed up now. And they're sitting on the grid. And evenly coated, ready to rock. So we're going to put these on the grill. About 275, and then we're just going to let these go for about an hour and a half. Um, just let them start to get tender. Let that cooking process start on these. Then, like I said, when we bring them out, we're going to check them, make sure they're tender. If you're looking for a temp, go around 200. Um, but we'll see where they're at. We just want to make sure they're tender. So 200 is the temp I think we're looking for. 
then we'll pull them out. We're gonna put some sauce on it, some honey, and some brown sugar. Get all that mixed up. We're gonna put it in a pan, put it back on the grill, finish those things up, get them nice and glazed and gooey, sticky, sweet goodness. You're gonna love it, folks, so here we go. We got these right here. Perfect. So that's it. Until then, my friends, I'll drink. See ya, folks. We'll be right back. I'll drink warning. Hey, folks. Uh, welcome back. So we got our ribs, our uh, ribs, our uh, our brisket. I don't know what the hell we're cooking. What are we doing? Uh, pork belly burn ends. So we're at our hour and a half mark at 275. Uh, these are looking great, man. This is money. Woo. I'm loving the look. So, we're going to get these out now. We're going to put them in this pan. We're going to put our sauces and stuff together, the, our extra flavors, and get this thing just kind of doing what it needs to do. Um, so, I did add the addition of butter to this recipe. Uh, I wasn't going to do it before, but I decided, why not? Let's just do it. So, I'm going to get these pork belly burn ends. I'm going to put them in here. What's up? That's hot. And we're just gonna. Oh yeah. Oh man, this smells so good. Why is this one hotter? Ah. There we go. Good catch, Dave. We got a runner. So the first thing I want to do with this, I'm going to put in my barbecue sauce and maybe I should have... I got it. Alright. So I'm just going to add some sauce to this. We might add a little bit more later, but it's one big giant squeeze. That's how much you can put in there. Um, let's see, we're going to do some brown sugar to this. I'm just gonna layer that sugar on there. God, that looks good already. Oh, that sugar's gonna melt. Now I'm gonna put some honey. I'm just gonna drizzle this honey in here. It, <laughs> it's gotten cold. Woo, this is gonna be rich. I'm going to put butter in here. Just chunks of butter. Not that it needs any more fat, but it is going to add some flavor to this. Just like that. Now I'm going to take this and I'm just going to mix it all up in here. Get that sugar, that barbecue sauce. Get this all nice and blended together. Good to be the king. Man, excited to eat this. Get my butter back up on top here. Already starting to melt. Oh, this is going to be fantastic. Alright, so we got that going. That's pretty much all of our ingredients. So we're just going to add this back to the uh, grill. We're going to go another hour. We're going to check it in an hour. See where we're at. But remember I said we're looking for that internal of about 200. So let's get this thing back in here. And that's it. Folks, we'll be right back. Hey folks, I'll drink. Alright, so 
we are about done with this thing. Uh, we're up to temp where we should be. It's nice and bubbly stickiness. That barbecue sauce is kind of tacky on there, and it's just it looks awesome. We're gonna pull it out and get ready to go. So, did not think that one through. What's up? There we go. Spilled it all over. But oh, that is gorgeous. All this stuff, look at that, just beautiful. Barbecue burnt ends, what do you call it? Pork belly burnt ends. And you know I want to get into this and try it. I want to try a piece, it is hot. Oh, and that cut right through too. Wow. It just melts in your mouth that all those flavors that sugar that butter the barbecue sauce you can taste all of it that rub man that is fantastic stuff this is gonna be this is gonna be gold tonight man this is people are gonna love this um, we be eating like kings anyway pork belly burn ends guys this is how we did it get into it enjoy it make some for yourself um, yeah, if you have any questions, the recipe is going to be down below in the description. Thank you so much for joining us and watching the video today. Hope you guys enjoyed yourself. I hope you didn't drink too much, folks. Um, anyway, folks, thanks again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. We appreciate you. We really do. It's an honor to have you watch our videos, folks. So, anyone, drink up. Have a great night. We'll talk to you next time.